Hello everybody, this is Kirby over yonder, and spoilers for the Owl House. If you're not caught up with the funny owl show, then please don't watch this. Okay, thanks, bye. Season 2 of the Owl House has been very interesting so far. Pretty much every episode so far has either introduced and or built upon some aspect of the show's lore and world building. This truly is the season with no filler. But after watching the most recent episode at the time of recording this, Eclipse Lake, I thought of an interesting theory. I think that Philip is Emperor Bellows. Hear me out. First off, they have very similar voices. After five years, I have finally found it. A power source so potent it can pierce through realms. We've found every piece of the door, but without the power of the real key, it refuses to open. But along with that, the two have a very similar head shape as well. Both of their noses kind of stick out, and even if Phillips is in a ponytail, they both do have long hair. But going a bit deeper, there's nothing in the show stating that Philip ever made it back to the human realm. And if he did make it back, don't you think he'd tell people about it? Don't you think more people would know that the Boiling Isles is a thing? Heck, don't you think he'd bring his diary with him instead of just leaving it in the library? Also, Bellows himself states to have been to the human realm. The way he phrases it makes it seem like he's only visited once or twice, but he may just be trying to cover up the fact that he's actually human. Him having pointy ears and whatever that green thing on his face is might have just been some kind of spell he casted upon himself to make him look like he belongs in the Boiling Isles. This could also be why he almost always wears a mask. Him casting spells on himself may also explain why he has a beast form like Ida. Maybe one of his spells went wrong or something. And if you pay attention to the way he describes the human realm, there's something very sentimental about it. Almost as if he's more familiar with the human realm than he lets on. And at this point in the show, we don't really know why Bellows needs to go to the human realm so bad. But if he was a human, that would make him such an interesting parallel to lose. Both our main protagonist and our main antagonist would have the same goal and be in the same situation, just with different ideologies. And going back to Philip, if you think about it from a narrative perspective, there has to be some sort of reason why he's only shown to us through silhouette form. Think about it, why wouldn't the show want us to know what he looks like? But what does this mean for Hunter, aka the Golden Guard? He's stated to be Bellows' nephew, but if Bellows is a human, then that doesn't make a ton of sense. I admittedly don't have a lot of evidence for this, but I think Hunter might actually be a clone of Bellows. I think they look similar enough for this to be the case, but either way, I don't think Bellows is actually Hunter's uncle. But that's about all I've got for this theory. I've really been enjoying the season of The Owl House so far. It's probably my favorite show airing right now. I'm really excited to see where this season goes. Even if my theory doesn't end up coming true, I trust that these plot lines will have a satisfying payoff. But that being said, please let me know how you feel about this theory in the comments, as well as any theories or predictions that you have for The Owl House. Kirby, out.